you are saying they have arrested Babu Owino. Yeah, I believe that you have not uh, complete, yes. I believe that you have not completed the process. We have made the complaint to the police, sorry, to the to the court, and the court has given its directions. We are appealing to the Chief Justice to make sure that the courts are out of bound for police officers, and especially those who are who are fully geared, armed with the tear gas. And when they come here, let them not touch advocates. We are not men coming to remove uh, advocates and their clients from the courts. And the LSK should hear this: that we need protection in court that advocates must not be harassed, that advocates should not be seen as if we are part of the dispute. We are advocates who are merely representing clients, and we shall represent any client who shall come to us. We have no choice as to which client we are supposed to represent. It is the client who chooses us. And therefore, if we represent a particular client who is, undes who is perceived as an undesirable client, it's not our fault. That is what we are called for. The Chief Justice must make sure that this place is completely out of bound for the untried police. They cannot come to remove us from the courts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the council had something to say. Mine, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very sad uh, day for this nation. As officers of the court, our work is basically to uphold and respect the rule of law. From the first instance, our client was abducted. We don't call that an arrest because Babo Wino was not informed why he was being arrested at the point of arrest. He was ferried and taken all the way to Mwe in Kirinyaga County, very far, held in Comunicado. We were unable to reach out to him. Had he not written a note on a tissue paper, we wouldn't know where our client is. We've gone through different police stations trying to find out what our client has done. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 protects individuals. An accused person has a right under the law. So if someone is arrested, you're supposed to inform that person, allow that person to see their counsels, and present that person to court. Babu Owino was held in Comunicado. We first saw him as his advocates yesterday at 2, when he was presented to Milimani. And again, it took, as you are aware, members of the press, it took us the whole night to process this. The court gave directions that uh, the honorable member be taken to hospital. Still, the court issued that directive, but it was not seen to it. Instead, our client was hounded and taken to Kilelesho police station, and at 1 p.m., him together with the rest, there were thugs of 30 goods brought, and they actually, 1 a.m., and they actually beat up the accused persons. So the question is, where are we safe? If at the police station where an accused person is put, you're being attacked. If at the courts we have anti-riot police officers coming to remove us, and as we speak, I'm being informed that they've rearrested him. They have rearrested him. And they've refused know. to release us to be able to process bail as per the court directive. So we are asking this country, let us respect the rule of law. The 2010 constitution was a very, very good step for our country. Let us not degenerate to levels where we lose. We lose the essence of justice. Number two. Important question. Important yes. question, yes. counsel. You, you are saying they have arrested Babu. We have they arrested they have I believe that, that you have not uh, complete, yes. I believe that you have not completed processing the bail. So yes. how have they rearrested? We have been chased. We, we went to pay cash <laughs> bail there, and then we have been chased from from there by until So without police. without paying cash bail, it, it means that Babu you know, had not yet been no. released. Have they then, what was to happen is once the court has granted him the cash bail and bond terms. We go to the registry, we process, we pay, then he is released. We have but what from they have the done, registry by they have just this gentleman from the registry. I have the cash bill here. They have not been allowed to process the cash bill. Can but you, they have whisked away Babo Wino while still they in the custody. Given you, can, you can imagine reason. somebody has because been whisked, and Mr. Okachi is here, he has witnessed that. Somebody who was within the jurisdiction of the court, somebody which the court has admitted to bail has been whisked away, even without processing the bill. You can imagine where we are degenerating to. Where is the Chief Justice in this country? Where is the Chief Justice? Where is Honorable Martha Koome? Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing the courts to be defiled by police officers and by the state? Why are, where is Maina Jenga? Why has he not been brought to court? Who is holding him? Where is he? Why can't he be brought to court? What offense has he committed? 
that the court cannot be able to address. I believe even the devil needs justice. Why should you rearrest somebody and whisk him away even before he's processed by the court? Mr. Okachi has witnessed that. Then it means, counsel, we cannot even call that rearrest. That is sort of an abduction. It is an abduction. It is a, it's a series of adoptions. I do, and I do not even think we advocates are safe. But we shall continue. We shall die on our feet and not on our, on our knees. And, and in fact, the most important thing that you need to understand is that they are even now trying to prevent advocates in court from executing their mandate. This is our place, this is our office, this is where we work. But cops are being allowed to come and intimidate even advocates in court. It is a very dark day and I think that's why we, these backstops are the foot, are, are the foot of Martha Kome. Because she's the one who is in charge and to ensure that these courts are safe for everyone. It has reached a point where, and this is very sad for the media fraternity, we are seeing police officers, well known, coming to court and being allowed access wearing press, press uh, jackets and there is an accreditation for press people so how do they gain access to the courts when they are pretending to be press people there's already a very serious issue in terms of the administration of justice here and these are the things that we are saying it is high time that even the magistrates court need to know that they have the power to ensure and they are bound by article 3 to ensure that the rights of everyone including even yourselves, the press people, are observed. Police officers are even removing press people the way they want, and they pretend to be the press people. It is not right. You cannot be stopped from accessing the registry, and the court has said clearly here that let this uh, cash bill and bond process be done. Because some of these people are very sick, are, are actually ailing based on even the uh, grave uh, beatings that they have received. And it's not only the second accused person. Actually, all the accused persons were actually beaten. It's only that for the second accused person, it may be more visible. So this is a point where I'm, 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 I'm saying, uh, people are saying President Moi was a dictator. He must be turning on his grave wondering that we have a reincarnation of even a worse regime at this particular point. But we said yesterday, we say it now. <clears throat> Our role as advocates will remain. We'd rather die. We'd rather be jailed. We will stand here. Whoever wants to remove us, let them come. The constitution will fight for itself and eventually it will succeed. Let Martha Kome, let Martha Kome, let Chief Justice Martha Kome, and I insist, let Chief Justice Martha Kome, if she ever hears people, make sure that this place is out of bound for police officers. We advocates, we are not here to demonstrate. Honorable Chief Justice Martha Kome, this is Advocate Dewanjiro. In the company of Advocate Okach, and in the company of Advocate Asha, may we kindly address you to make sure that you make it easy for advocates to practice law within the court's precincts. Martha Kome, don't allow this place to be raped and defiled by police brutality. We have been brut uh, brutalized this, uh, this, mo this morning. We are not allowed to process cash bill for our clients. Where do we go to? Martha Kome, where do we go to? Please tell us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you very thank much. You.